Welcome in on this Thursday afternoon. I'm Kristen Strakulaitis. Coming up, dealership software giant CDK Global is being acquired. But we'll start with U.S. luxury sales. BMW grabbed about a 9,000 vehicle lead over Lexus in the first quarter. The German mark was one of just three major luxury brands to post year-over-year -year sales gain in a market disrupted by tight inventory and parts shortages. BMW sold 73,714 vehicles in the first three months of the year. Lexus delivered 64,365 vehicles. Mercedes-Benz followed with 62,251. However, Tesla is likely the segment leader after the first quarter. The EV maker does not break out sales by market, but the Automotive News Research and Data Center estimates Tesla delivered 110,000 cars and crossovers in the first three months of the year. That's a 42% rise from a year earlier. Total U.S. luxury sales fell 10%, outperforming the broader industry's 16% decline. In other news, Mazda has kicked off an upmarket portfolio shift with a global blitz of new large crossovers. This strategy will begin unfolding this year in Europe and Japan with the launch of the new two-row CX-60. That model will be followed by the two U.S.-focused stable mates, the CX-70 and CX-90, starting next year. A three-row CX-80 is also in the mix for Europe, Japan, and other global markets. Underpinning all the new nameplates is a large vehicle platform that will sustain Mazda's electrification plan and its brand-building efforts through this decade and beyond. Our Hans Grimel has much more on Mazda's plans at autonews.com. Dealership software giant CDK Global is being acquired. Brookfield Business Partners will pay $8.3 billion for CDK and take the publicly traded company private. CDK shareholders will get $54.87 per share in cash when the transaction closes, which is expected to happen in the third quarter. CDK's core dealership management system business had more than 9,100 automotive customer sites as of the start of the year. The company has recently expanded into other dealership software products. Porsche is investing $75 million in a startup that aims to harness wind power to make a gasoline substitute. The automaker is getting a 12.5% stake in electricity-based fuel developer HIF Global for the investment. The company is currently building a plant in Chile and is planning 12 commercial sites. HIF aims to produce 150,000 barrels of fuel a day. And we'll finish with some product. Kia and Hyundai both teasing updates to popular models. Kia showing off a glimpse of the 2023 Telluride. Hyundai doing the same for the Palisade. Both will be unveiled next week at the New York International Auto Show. That's our time for today. For breaking news day or night, stay locked to autonews.com. We'll see you tomorrow.